You're planning a wedding. You want your guests to be vaccinated. Is there a polite way to ask? And what if they refuse? We bring in the experts, Monica and Darian Lewis with the Monica Lewis School of Etiquette. Great to see you two. How's it going this morning? Hey, Hello, my morning. sweet sister. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. All right, so let's get right to it. Is it okay to include that question in the wedding invite or does it need to be left off the actual invitation? No, you can include it, but make sure that you and your partner have made that agreement that this is what we want to do. And then once you have made that agreement, it is okay to put it in the invitation. Why? Because it's your wedding, it's your day, so you make that decision. You make the rules. I see Darian nodding his head. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so happy, you, happy wife, happy life. Right. <laughs> so once you have the plan for your guests, do you need to establish like areas for them at the wedding? Almost like, you know, if you're vaccinated, you go here. If you're not vaccinated, you have to stay over here. Yeah, you can you can do that, you know, but the, the basic thing is to have a plan, have a plan for how you're going to mm -hmm. handle your guests that are vaccinated and those guests that may not have uh, been fully vaccinated yet. And uh, make sure that you communicate that upfront as well mm -hmm. so that they understand what is going to happen. Don't make your guests guess about what your protocol is, what the right. process is for receiving them. You know, weddings are stressful, not just for the couple, but for even the guests, especially now that um, we're going through the pandemic. So we wanna make sure that everyone understands what your plan is gonna be before, during, and even after the ceremony. Mm -hmm. So you're going to make sure that they know when they're arriving that if I'm not vaccinated, this is what I'm going to have to follow so that I don't exactly. get upset. Exactly. And okay. you make that clear in the invitation, um, the website, if you have a wedding mm -hmm. website. Um, also, to make it personable, because this is a difficult t conversation to have, you can do a short video to your guests expressing why we're making the decision. But you must be clear if you don't have the vaccination, if you're going to do a PCR test, you will have to submit it within 48 to 72 hours. Be clear. Oh, I like that idea. Do a little video because then <laughs> it, it seems sincere, right? If you're hearing right. it exactly. directly from them and you can see where they're coming from. And then you say um, it, it's okay to maybe write on the invitation or on the website too that vaccines are strongly encouraged or fully vaccinated guests may attend the ceremony in person. That kind of warning would be appropriate. Yes, because it's very clear, it's very sustained, mm -hmm. so that there's no, you know, misunderstood, and you can make sure that you communicate that. And what we say is communicate the same way across multiple channels. So like Monica was saying about having the website, the same language on the website that's on the invitation, that's on the gift registry, so that no matter where your guests are going to get that information, they're seeing that and it's up front. So on the day of your ceremony, when they arrive, this is not new information. Right, People right. don't like surprises and they definitely don't like ultimatums. Like, you know, you've gotten dressed, you've dr driven right. to the location, and now you tell me, oh, I needed to be fully vaxxed and I can't come in if I'm vaxxed, you know, that's gonna be a problem. Oh yeah, especially if somebody's, you know, traveled uh, exactly. to, if it's a destination wedding. And mm -hmm. and you guys say too, that it's perfectly fine to ask for, you know, a negative test result once you, you get there. Yeah, yeah, it's perfectly fine because you include it where? In, on the invitation, mm -hmm. on the save the date, on the website, so it, it's nothing new. But then also prepare something for if the guest's not able to attend. The same effort you put in your wedding, the same effort you can put in virtual so they can be a part of it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is nice. And then you can send pictures of you having your own little party in your living room if you're not able yeah. to, to attend. Exactly. They will love that too. All righty, Monica and Darian from the Monica Lewis School of Etiquette. Great to see you too. Hope to see you in person soon. Absolutely. Right. Bye. Okay, bye.